Hey guys, so today we are uh, painting this bedroom. This color on the walls is just really not my style. It's not the worst, but it's like a greeny, bluey color and it feels a little dark and a little dreary and I'm just not super into it. For quite some time now, I've wanted to paint it, so we're doing it. So the first step of this was to move all the furniture into the center of the room and also to just get rid of anything that would be in our way. So we moved like the lamps and whatnot into my office area. And of course we had to move Holly as well because paint and cats do not mix. So I first just went ahead and I cleaned off all the walls. Now I just used my Allen's vinegar spray and a cloth and I just kind of wiped down all the walls to get rid of any dust or dirt. And then I went ahead and I began taping off all the areas that we didn't want to paint. So, you know, like our closet doors, the banisters, uh, things like that. And also removed all of the outlet covers. And then it was time to prime our walls. So we ended up priming the whole day. We also decided to prime the entryway downstairs because that was kind of like a weird peachy beigey color. And since the primer was already open and we had so much of it, we just decided to do all the priming in one go and then we could focus on painting and get both projects done. So we actually didn't end up uh, painting until the next day. Good morning. So it's day two of our bedroom makeover. I'm really excited because today we are finally getting to actually painting this room. Yesterday we ended up just priming the space um, and then we also uh, ended up priming our downstairs entryway. We ended up kind of priming all those spaces until about 1.30 in the morning last night, at which point we knew we were definitely not going to get to painting. <laughs> so that is a uh, day two project that we're going to get to right now. So here's the space all primed right now looking like a hot mess jeremy's got his beer it's not even 12 yet huh um, quarantine rules <laughs> we're on quarantine rules <laughs> Here's a little preview of how it's gonna look. It's obviously a little uneven right now. We need to do a second coat, but I think it looks really good. The whole reason I got this color was because originally I was gonna do uh, Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace, but when I painted the sample on the wall, it looked a little too stark white. I wanted something a little more like creamy and soft. And I think this, uh, this is perfect. We're gonna go in with a second coat just to even it all out. Um, and then we're done. So this is gonna be done really soon. And then we can put back all our furniture and get this all set up. Once the second coat was up, I decided it was time to start working on some art for our bedroom. So I uh, took out some of my acrylic paint and I just started drawing some lines. It doesn't look very good right now, but I swear it worked out. The next morning it was time to remove the tape and just see how everything had kind of worked out and if there was any last minute spots that we needed to touch up. I ended up finding that on the ceiling when we removed the tape, there was a bit of like a gap kind of there. So we just went over that area with a little bit more paint just to make it look really, really seamless. Once we did those final touch-ups, it was time to start assembling everything back into place. Another thing we did is we ended up actually spray painting all of the handles in our bedroom, just a simple matte black. And I am so, so happy with how they turned out. All right, and here is the finished result. guys and that is the full bedroom makeover i hope you guys enjoyed today's makeover as much as i did i love this space so much it's so calming and fresh and i just absolutely love how it turned out for a full list of the items i used as well as kind of an outline of costs be sure to visit the description box i have a link to my full blog post and i will see you guys next time bye